Hey everyone, it's the Viperion and welcome back to part 13 of the CTR Nitro Field Pro Tip series. And this time we'll be discovering on how to easily take the Dragon Mines shortcut. I'll be providing you an easy step by step guide, so by the end of the video you will be able to take the shortcut like a pro. Also as a bonus, I'll be showing you guys how to do the spiral section on the track. So just in case if you're having trouble with the shortcut, the spiral section can be your plan B. So remember to watch till the end. Now let's move on to the shortcut first. So let's get this point out of the way first. You don't need Sacred Fire to do the shortcut. In the clip right here, I'm actually using the Drift class to take the shortcut. But any other driving style is fine too. So there's actually a few things you will have to do to successfully take the shortcut. First of all, try to gain as much speed as you can by drift boosting at this section, just right after the area with the water. After that, immediately stop drifting once you reach to the area around here. Now this is crucial so pay close attention. Notice that there's a bump on the track here. What you want to do next is to start a drift boosting again before the bump towards the shortcut. Once the drift has started, aim to boost only once, no more and no less. This will make your entrance into the shortcut much more smoother and it's actually harder for you to miss the shortcut this way. A little side note though, you might want to air brake to adjust yourself just a little bit. Once you're in the shortcut, spam the jump button until you reach the other side. Once here, immediately jump and use the air braking technique to get yourself back on track. Here's an example of me doing the shortcut. Now let's move on to the spiral. Sometimes if you don't feel confident, you can use the spiral section as well. And if done right, it can be almost as fast as the shortcut. So what you want to do is called a U-turn or another word for sharp turning. In order to do it here, jump and immediately hold the square button, down arrow key and the right arrow key. While holding these three buttons, spam the jump key as fast as you can. You also want to keep in mind that you should let go of the acceleration key while doing this. If not, it will simply won't work. So that sums it up for the Dragon Mines shortcut. Do subscribe if you want to for more tips and tricks like this. I've actually made a guide on the Blizzard Bluff Fence shortcut as well. So if you're having trouble with it, I highly recommend for you to click here to head to the video or click on the right for a full detailed guide on the air braking and U-turning technique that I've just mentioned. This is the Viperian signing out and I'll see you in the next video.